Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. What do you think, buddy? I think we're uh, about to find some big deer. It's exciting. It's just getting light. This is such a unique hunt. We were talking about this earlier and the fact that this fourth season rifle here in Colorado is a lot of people really think it's the premium premium rifle season. And that uh, even though it's cold, it's like right now, what is it, 15 degrees? It's 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 not bad. I'm, no, it's pretty nice. It's actually, if you're sitting in the sun, you're not dealing with, uh, doesn't seem near as cold, but these big bucks come out. I mean, it's like they just show up. You'll find, uh, you know, you've been here two, this is your third day or so, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, you find a group of does, nothing. Come back the next day, and there's a big buck in with them. Yep. They just Less. keep showing up. It's That's the beat. That's the allure of this fourth season yeah it's hard because they may not if you find a big buck they may not be there with those same does the next day they may be right cruising on to other does but i mean you find a group of does that hang out in the same area and there could be a different buck in there every day right. potentially one of the things i've kind of been awestruck with is the size of the average deer yeah. versus a lot of places we hunt when you're having uh, deer move in and out, your average buck size is 130, 135 maybe. Mm -hmm. you know, and you'll get high end might be, you might find a 170. Mm -hmm. Here, low end, we're seeing a lot of 160s, 170 bucks together looking for does. <laughs> yep. And then all of a sudden, boom, you turn around and there's a 190 inch deer. And yeah, that's uh, pretty awesome. You know, and then there's like a gap all the way down to little forkies. You don't see a lot of, or at least we haven't. I'm sure they're in here. 130s, 140s. Yeah. You know, we're seeing two-year-old deer and then five and six-year-old bucks, you know? So, interesting. It's pretty cool, to be honest. We just gotta find that seven-year-old monster. Yeah. This is also a little bit more unique in the challenge that we're not just putting a pack on and hiking across country. We're literally cruising, covering tons of country, parking on side of a road like this and just glassing a mile, two miles away, yep. trying to find the one. How many bucks have we seen this morning that in a normal hunting season we would have been real excited about probably three or four yeah a couple for sure that are and uh real nice i'm a couple of them i was i haven't had the wow factor but i was definitely <laughs> impressed yep there's several that we've seen today that are not too bad When you're looking for a a 200 class deer, what are you looking for, Tanner? Um, I mean, what are everything? The, well, I, <laughs> I mean, mean 200's just a number. We talked about this last night. To me, it's just a stinking number. We, you know, the the buck that that, that I want to kill is one that gets me excited. That yeah. is unique um, or just impressive. That doesn't have to mean it tips out at 200. It could be 185 inch buck. Um, but to get to that 200 mark, what are, what are you looking for? I mean, you gotta have, I think most, like most book typicals, which is 190, um, on average, they're gonna have, you know, at least a 25 inch inside, at least 25 inch beams, um, good deep forks. 
I, people don't realize how important the deep forks are. Yeah, I mean, that's it, your time length where you get most yeah. of your score. Um, it surely doesn't help if they're weak or, you know, in the mass area or whatever. But I And mean, we've seen some deer that aren't real wide that are a little weak on the front, mm -hmm. that, but it are just massive, yeah. massive. Yeah, we've seen a couple of really good bucks. And then the buck, you know, last night, it's... He's not really weak anywhere. He's not. Um, he's not an absolute giant, but he's not really weak anywhere. And well, and what I kinda... liked about the buck we saw last night was the the two kickers he had, those two flyers he had coming off of. Yeah, he's got handlebars. Yeah, that was really neat. Yeah, I mean, then that's the kind of buck that'll kind of surprise you because there's nothing on him that's that's weak. Um, and that I mean, that's kind of what you're looking for. Right. This is also where good glass makes all the difference in the world because without good glass, you're going to get a headache real quick. Yep. Yeah, and we're looking, covering, covering lots of country, looking long distances, picking out bucks, so... It's important for sure. Because we like big bucks and we cannot lie. That's what I'm saying. Let's go to the front. What are we doing? There's a pretty good buck up there. All right, let me get this buck. I'm getting out. So Trev, we're standing on the side of a road. Yeah, we are. We're looking across private. Uh, uh, Trev, as you can see, this is uh, not the highway, but it might as well be. And uh, we were looking, found a, a, a potential buck, and then Tanner actually got uh, a little bit confused where he was at, but then ended up picking up another buck. So we're trying to pick him up again now with the with the spotter. Did you find him? Target. I wasn't confused. I was just looking for more bucks, Trev. Oh, okay. And what? guess what? I found one. So you're gonna have to put that down put so it I down can actually. <laughs> Okay, so they're in a little notch. I can't see the buck. There's barely, I mean, there's just a little spot that he could be standing in to see him. But you can see a deer, but they're just in a little notch. There's a little, it's all in the shadows, a bunch of sage. Big old buck. Big old something, man. I want to see him again, but... We've got a potential buck that has some potential. <laughs> and he's a ways away. We saw, I say we, Tanner saw him, uh, said he saw him, on the far far hillside across this private and public and we're going to work our way back up right now we're using the old onyx to get a feel for where he's at and then that way we can get up above and see if we can get eyes on him from above but he was enough to make him excited by whip so that's half the battle there getting you excited I got to take it off. You're right down here, right in front of us.
Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.